of the objectives of RIC's communication and community engagement is to ensure that people have the life-saving information they need to protect themselves and others from the school environment and community-related risk, and to reduce its impact on health, social life, and the economy. Now, the risks related to school environment and child survival are numerous. Apart from health, other risks that children are exposed to include gender-based violation risk, drug abuse, an addict, cultism, and others. Now, this has led to the constitution of RICS Communication Club in some schools in River State, starting with Obia Apollo local government area and Portacot City local government area. And this is the initiative of RICS Communication and Community Engagement, supported by the Ministry of Education and the State Universal Basic Education Board. Welcome to NOA River State Dialogue. This is a weekly sensitization program of the National Orientation Agency, River State, supported by UNICEF. I have wonderful people with me here in the studio this morning to take on the topic, risk communication clubs in schools, the students' experience. And I have here to my left, Ambassador Tonjo Meshap Hari, He's the focal person for River State Risk Communication Clubs in school. He's a child protection specialist, and he's a UNICEF desk officer at the River State Universal Basic Education Board. Mr. Harry, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for Thank you coming to this program this welcome. morning. And I have wonderful students here from Government Girls Secondary School, Rumokuta. My immediate right, I have Ambassador Akani David Sarima. Did I get you right? Yes, okay. She's the president of Risk Communication Club in Government Girls Secondary School, Rumokuta. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. And my extreme right, I have Otu Kupe Favo. She's the program officer uh, of Risk Communication Club. Government Girls Secondary School, Rumokuta. You are welcome. Thank you, ma'am. So remember, viewers, that you can send in your comments, questions, and suggestions on this program. My name is Mrs. Esanjumi Richard Halliday. I'm an assistant director and your anchor on this program. And so let's get right on to it. I'd like to start with you as the focal testing for these communication clubs in River State. What is the objective of this club, the establishment of this club? Well, generally the objective of this communication clubs okay. is to build ambassadors. Okay. Ambassadors that will be vanguards of these communication messages okay. in and out of school. Mm -hmm. And also, to ensure and to see that risk communication flow is part and parcel of our school system in and out of school and to be able to also reach out to the 23 LGAs of River State. A risk communication club will also be a replicate to other, other states and we're also looking at risk communication Club specific objective as looking at a club that has come as a platform that will enable stakeholders to be able to share opinions, okay. suggestions, knowledge with students that are faced with different components of issues and problems, also including social vices, mm -hmm. and also specifically risk communication club is also looking at fighting against the fundamental issues that we have as child abuse and also out of school issues. Okay. Because all these problems of child abuse and child molestations, all these surrounds what we have as what we call 
child out of school. Okay. And out of school is in the increase indicator every day in our society. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, as we speak, indicators from UNICEF is showing about 10.5 million in River State out of school. Mm -hmm. And this indicator is increasing every day. And after the COVID-19, the first and the second phase of the COVID-19, if we go through to have a baseline information and also indicator, you find that our indicator has increased. Okay. So there is need for us to see how we can cope these issues and to see how we can bring a remedy. So risk communication has come to see how we can objectively fight against these issues in and out of school. Yeah, just to, just to continue to what you have just said. Yeah. Miha, can you give us what, what are the reasons for these indicators rising? Out of school, of course. What are the identified reasons for this? The, the reasons is that, of course, the reasons are so numerous. Okay. Because if you look at during the COVID nineteen pandemic, yeah. indicators actually was on a high side. Yeah. Different indicators. Okay. Okay. There were a lot of rape issues. Yeah. Rape yeah. here and there. Yeah. Molestation, abuse here and there. It was like a wildfire. Mm -hmm. And I, and and then and they begin to wonder what's going on. What's happening in our society? Yeah. And this and that. So looking at it, there is need for us to begin to look at how we can build walls, okay. build bridges, mm -hmm. to be able to build a gap so that we can fight. And this time around, all the while we have been like fighting or working in silo, mm -hmm. leaving the children aside. aside but this yeah. time around, yeah. we want the children to take ownership of a process. We want the children to be vanguards of this process. Okay. They have to be vanguards of the messages. Okay. Today, they have the opportunity to talk to their peers. Mm -hmm. Today, they have the opportunity to sensitize them, themselves concerning different risks okay. as even being identified in and out of school. Okay. Okay. So that's what's going on. Okay. Now let me come. They, they are the ones in the talks. Exactly. So, what do you... What's your take on this risk communication clause? What is it all about to you? To you. Risk communication club is a club that wants to create awareness to the students in the, in the schools and also wants to enlighten students more on health related emergencies and also on the social vices that happen in and out of schools. We want to transfer the, the information worldwide to be able to curb the spread of the diseases, to curb the spread of social vices. Okay, okay. And what is it to you? Risk Communication Club is a club that has come to help us students okay. to understand that they are risks and how to avoid them okay. and what to do in case we found ourselves in or we find other people in this situation. Yeah. Okay. okay, wonderful. I like that. Two different perspectives together making it one. Yeah. I like that. To help students and then what it means to you. Now, I want to ask how has it helped in running your school? Risk communication has helped in a lot of ways. It has helped students to be able to speak up against social vices. It has helped students, like now the coronavirus pandemic, it has helped yeah. students to be aware of maintaining their physical distance, putting on their face masks, washing their hands, and it has also helped in order to enlighten students to be able to say no to certain social vices happening in and out of the school. Okay, you mentioned that it has helped the students to maybe know the protocols, yeah. COVID 19 protocols. Yeah and all that. Yeah. Okay, now, you know, I've mentioned here on this program that you find that as students, when they get into school, they abide by these protocols. And when they leave the school environment, maybe they get out of the school, or maybe they are classes, I don't know, but, you know, when you see them on the road after school time, yeah. those protocols are not adhered to. What have you done in that aspect? Have you, have, you, have, you, have you experienced that? Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. You know? So now this is the club, and you are out there. One of the things you said, we talked about health-related risk, right? Mm -hmm. And then communicating or ensuring that the students understand these protocols, you know, abide by them, keep exactly. them, keep to them. Now, is it just within the school? Or they should take it out? What, what, what have you experienced, and what are you doing about it? I said this communication has come to help the students okay. take this good news okay. and instead, instead, instead of spreading the disease, we spread the message. Okay. So we as risk club members, you can see that 
um, that was what happened before. Okay. Now students are abiding by the rules in and out of school. Okay. Now you can see that most students are putting on their face masks, they're washing their hands, and they even come with hand sanitizers. We are very happy. Okay. And the more that unit, other students will emulate them, okay. and it will. And very soon, we are very sure that everybody in the school will do the same. And very soon, very okay. very soon, very soon. Okay, 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 okay. And um, okay, uh, now let's go on. Mm. We talked about health related risks now, COVID nineteen, right? Yes. Okay. What about, that, what about other risks? How do you make the students feel that they are safe in coming to share to share other risks mm -hmm. that, that, that they have passed through? How do you, how do you, what, what have you done to sensitize the students to know that apart from this health risk, you know COVID-19 is here, what is talking about it, how to keep away from it, how to, you know, about it. So what have you done apart from the health related risk? We talked about gender-based violations, yeah. drug abuse, addiction, autism. So what have you done in that aspect, apart from the health related um, For example, there are sexual harassment. And so one of the slogans yeah. of um, risk communication is to enable students to be able to speak up. Yeah. So when the students come to confide in our social protection officers, which is one of our executive officers, okay. we as well give advices to them to maybe stay away from it. Then we can give the information to our coordinators who in essence will take it to the higher authorities okay. and by take the matter up in their hands. Would you want to add to uh, that? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have made them understand that they are safe, that okay. we have come to help them. Okay. That as long as they are with us, everything will be okay and we are going to help. We are going to help them keep them safe out of trouble. Okay. Okay. So they, that has built the confidence yes. in them. They have trusted you. Okay, have you had any have you had any reported case? Reported case. Case of um, other risk. Okay. Yes, we've had. Okay. I don't want you to mention, don't give us an example. An example of a teacher who was trying he actually deceived the student and wanted to give her um her sports square. Okay. And he took her into a secluded area. Okay. And he tried to force himself on her. Okay. Then the, the girl ran out okay. and she was scared. Okay. So when she came to speak with us, we actually took her to our coordinators. Okay. And, and the matter the result. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. You wanted to add something? Yes, actually, in, in having windows of uh, programs to be able to carry out risk communication programs effectively okay. in the school. Mm -hmm within the school-based environment, they, okay. the children carry out programs okay. themselves. Okay. That's why you have the program oh, of uh, yeah, officer. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. officer. Mm -hmm. So they, they roll up programs, they carry out the seminars, symposiums, presentations. Last time I was so I was so impressed. I went to a school, you know, and then they they have a program where the one of the one of the actors were giving presentation on on good governance oh, wow. under risk communication. Yes, I was impressed. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday they also have a program round that is supported by UNICEF. They are carrying out sensitization, mm -hmm. talking to others, you know, pair to pair, pair uh, oh, groups really? and in okay. class. So okay. they are disseminating information on how and again risks that are peculiar in a particular place are not peculiar to other yeah, places. Yeah, so really. they all have their peculiar yeah, risk. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So at the end of the day, we are also able to see how we can identify this kind of risk in different schools. Okay. I know of course in a girl's school is a different risk. Okay. And so the you know, also, also, yes. Mm -hmm. So so we try as much as possible to see how we can work on that. Okay, before we continue, I'd just like to to take in some comments that are rolling in already. I have from, um, uh, thank you, thank you everyone connecting, streaming live with us right now. I have from Mr. Senegal Abie, he said, is there a correlation between risk communication and the relative low infection rate of COVID-19 in Nigeria? The, is, there, is there a correlation between, between the risk communication clubs now, yes, yes, you know, yes. in, in schools, and then the reduction in the rate of COVID-19? Yes, yes, of course, because 
you know, the, the risk communication club is an offspring of RCCB, yes, which yes. is risk communication and community engagement pillar of the state. Okay. So the risk communication uh, club was introduced mm -hmm. during the COVID-19, looking at the risk in COVID-19 and other related risk, mm -hmm. those indicators that were were in the high side. Okay. So we put them together and said, no, 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 we need to fight against all this way. Okay. Not just COVID-19, because after COVID-19, what now? What then yes. we need to build the children. Yeah, build we need to build yeah. them up. Okay. To take ownership of the process. But one of the fundamental objectives during the ROCCE is that we move to communities mm -hmm. and see how communities will take ownership of of the process. Yeah, yeah. So now we're looking at moving to the school and looking at how the school, the children, mm -hmm. will take ownership of a process. Yeah. So that what we do as experts is to be able to monitor them, mm -hmm. see what is happening. Okay. Now we have a structure mm -hmm. and this structure is working in the school. We also have wash wash officer. So the yeah. wash officer is in charge of, of course, wash component that has to do with water, okay. hygiene, and sanitation, okay. sanitation and hygiene. So the wash officer is there telling them, wash your hands mm -hmm. properly. So before even COVID-19, we've been talking about wash. wash yeah. And as okay. a matter of fact, River State took first in the global hand washing competition, competition. in the future. Okay. So we need to be experts yeah, in wash. Experts we need to yeah. show the states that okay. we are okay. what we are. Okay. So what we're doing is not new. Mm -hmm. So this children are taking full responsibility. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, most of our schools right now, whether we like it or not, the children are aware. And they are doing everything possible to keep safe. Okay, I'm going to come back to you, Mr. Yeah. Harry. Um, I have a question also from Mr. Senigo, and I want to direct it to, the, to you, hmm? the student, okay. He says, would you say that you're being a member of Risk Communication Club has made you a better person in terms of handling risk and hazardous and it make you a better person. You're being yes. in this club. Yes. Your knowledge, the knowledge that has been imparted to you by our Yes, yes. Yes. In what way? In ways that we know that this is wrong. Okay. And we have been told that we should speak up, that okay. we should not hide. Okay. We should show we should not hide evil. We should bring it up and let the authorities take care of it. Okay. That way we are mitigating the spread of risks and dangers. Okay, what about you? Yes, risk communication has helped in a lot of ways and the way that it has helped us to know certain ways and measures we can take to curb the spread of COVID-19, curb the spread of rape, curb the spread of gender violations and the rest of social vices that goes on in and out of school. Okay, okay. Now, how are the students taking it? How are your students seeing it? The, the students are, are they happy about this. Yes, they are very happy. Are they anxious to be part of the club? I know that everybody cannot be every every student cannot be part of the club, right? Yeah. Can yeah. everybody be part well, of the club? Yes. Every yeah. Every every part of the club. Okay, no, that's it. That's Let me leave you. Every student in our school is happy and anxious on the meeting days of the school because the serious communication club as a club whereby they are able to share their ideas, yeah. they are able to yeah. learn more about certain risks and the dangers and the ways to handle it, the measures in order to mitigate the curve and the spread of many diseases and other social vices in our community. Okay, so they are able to speak up, right? Yes. They are happy about it. Everyone wants to meet everybody. Yes. yes. Can be a member of the club. Yes. Okay, what are your meeting dates? We have meetings on Thursdays and Fridays. Okay. How is the school um, um, the leadership? How they responding to it? They are actually happy that we the students are stepping up, yes. Mm -hmm. So they're encouraging us by allowing us to have meeting times okay. and using the hall for our meetings, even though they have other things. Okay. Now, what do you plan to do? What are your plans? You're already, you already members, you're deputy members of yes. the club. You know, what are your plans? In the Risk Communication Club in our school, we plan to create our time for seminars, conferences, debates, and shows that will be able to enlighten the students more, so that they'll be able to take the news out of the school in order to be able to, to take precautionary measures on certain diseases and um, social vices in school. We want to make our debates where everybody will have an opportunity to air out their views. Okay. Okay, okay, you are the program officer, right? 
of the club in your school. Yeah. So say something on that. In addition to what she has said, yeah. we are focusing on the students on means to take this outside. So we build them. Okay. Then we we organize things, programs okay. that will help them voice out. We okay. have quizzes and many interactive sessions. Our mixes are always interactive. We allow them to contribute and ask questions okay. wherever and tell us their experience or if they have seen anything around them. So we have so many programs that we've lined up and we are we are we are working on and we're going to make it great. Okay, can you tell us one or two of them? Have you had anyone recently? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But, um, what, what was it on? What was it on? Was it just on COVID? No, not just on COVID. No, what was it on? On rape. On rape. Okay. Yeah, you have to avoid it. And okay. things are consistent. Okay. So how the, how how was the response? How was the how was it? How okay. did students respond to they me? Some well, students like to know that some of them can be shy, you know, to speak out, you know. But how was the response? It's a girls' school, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. At the beginning, they were shy. They were like, they don't talk about it. But when they saw us, the executive, how we were interacting with ourselves, okay. it built their confidence, and they started talking, sharing experiences, and we were happy. Okay. We encouraged them to speak more, and UNICEF supported us with um, snacks. Okay. So, so I mean, the children, they like, they like that. Yes. I mean, uh, their time yes. is always tense. Yes. You know, so you catch them with that also. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I love you girls. You know, we, 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 we want students, you know, and children. You know what? The aim is to make them agents of change. Exactly. You understand? Like you, you also mentioned yeah. that getting them, putting, imbibing everything in them exactly. so that they can also impact on their kids, exactly. their parents. Are, I'm going to ask you about that. Your parents are not even to your community. So how has that, have you, have you been able to take these messages yeah. to your parents? Because you find that in River State, a lot of people don't even get this part. Yeah. People don't advise. I don't know if your parents do. Yeah. So, you do? Okay. If you go to the marketplace, it's not that you don't even want to tell somebody, put in yourself, what is it? Uh, this thing, COVID 19, no, they are like, leave that thing. You understand? Yeah. So, I, I believe that like, what your um, so far person has said is for you to be able to impact your peers in school, the parents, and in addition, going on to impact your community, how have you been able to take this message to your community? Now, risk communication, we don't just take the information just in our school, we take it out of our school by practicing the measures okay. in order to correct it and setting examples, okay. exemplar, living an exemplary life for people to lead. And in at large, it also affects the community because when each and everybody sees you putting on a face mask, everybody wants to invite, abide by it and also know that, ah, okay, this one is going to stop the curve of COVID-19. It's going to uh, it's, it's going to curb the social vices in our community at large. Okay, okay. Have you ever had students that that against this. Do you have students that have laughed at you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, <it's laughs> they expect that the school environment laughed at you, that what are you people doing? Mm -hmm. You know, so how have you taken that? How did you take it? We did not go to start struggling with them. Okay, After good. we are actually surprised that we have them in our midst. Yeah, you must oh, you must have them everywhere. There are people that will be against them. Us. Okay, so that's good. Okay. And they are actually voicing themselves and they Apologize, they're like they did not know, but but they are saying that it's very helpful. Okay, okay. Now I like to take on some uh, comments that are coming in, so many of them. So just listen in case you want to react to any of them. And thank you, Mr. Gabriel Ojeka. He says, kudos to any River State for your knowledgeable and people oriented programs. Thank you, Mr. Gabriel. Um uh I have also from Mr. B. He said, "Does risk communication have limitations?" Limitations, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of limitations? It, it doesn't really have limitations. Okay. I don't know what the person is talking yes, yes, about. Yes, okay. Yes, but risk communication is is very very holistic. Okay. In the sense that it's not just limited to COVID-19, mm -hmm. as we say. Okay. Risk communication it has come to spread its pentagons to be able to cover every other club in school mm -hmm. so that we don't just have, we no longer have different qualification of clubs. clubs okay. We have health club, mm -hmm. environmental okay. club, okay. we have this club. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we have the composites of all the officers. So health is there, okay. education is there, mm -hmm. 
So education, what are you talking about? Good learning. Mm -hmm. If you come to their ambassadorial meeting, they have what they call ambassadorial parliamentary sitting. When okay. they sit and they deliberate and they talk and they debate on issues, okay. education is talking. That we don't have good uh, uh, enough teachers. Mm -hmm. Education is talking. Mm -hmm. Mathematics. Education is talking. This media is talking. You also have a representative media. Okay. Yes. Media is taking. You know, media is practicing. Okay. Talking about media and also nutrition is talking. Mm -hmm. The people that are selling the the vendors that are here are they certified? Yeah. What kind of food are they and bringing? They are for the they are, protocols. Yes, yeah, it's not exactly. Oh, okay. There was a school I went to. Okay. Nutrition has started talking about those vendors, that they have to be certified, yeah. that they have the, the, this thing that they sell, how do they prepare it, mm -hmm. how do they do this, they want to know, okay. which is good, mm -hmm. which is what we're talking yeah. about in uh, nutrition yeah. and food yeah. and all yeah. the yeah. Okay. So also, other components, what she's also talking, mm -hmm. then, then the program officer is there working with others, so it has no limitation, mm -hmm. it has a spread okay. that goes to every other area, so that at the end of the day, you're talking like now, Soon we're going to have, when they resume, we're going to have a quiz competition. Okay. And the quiz competition is all round because we'll take components from education, math, English, okay. wash, we'll bring components from, uh, of course, COVID 19, hand washing, health is there, this is there, all the components will come and we'll begin to ask them. So we are preparing yeah. them, okay. not just on COVID 19, oh, COVID -19. education, mm -hmm. they will show themselves. Okay. These are some of the things that we're looking at. Okay. And also in social protection issues, it's issues, yeah. talking about rape, mm -hmm. this, that. Yeah. These are the things yes. okay. that we're looking okay. at. So let's take a more comment. I'm from uh, Informa Obele. He says, how do you guide against this club being hijacked into cult activities in the future and also maintain its motive or objective? Wow. In, in a club whereby you talk about kicking against social vices, yeah. okay. in a club whereby you talk about kicking against vices like cultism, yeah. I don't think there is any space for cultism to be, for the club to be hijacked by cult yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we are coming against social vices, so the club is in no way giving room exactly. for it to be hijacked by cult Okay, exactly. okay, I like that. Do you want to add something to that? No, See, it's absolutely correct. correct. Okay. okay. Because okay. everybody, we are actually making sure that they talk that if, they, if you are being um, bullied by any students, yeah, you are forced to do anything you talk. Okay. So there's no way these same students mm -hmm. would be joining what they are fighting against. I like your drive. Just to like add to that, of you girls. just to add to that, before yes. the before the, the the last Valentine, okay. they had a program in one of the schools okay. in Rumeme, okay. where they were talking to themselves mm -hmm. how to behave during the Valentine, so that they wouldn't be carried away with the wings and masquerade of Valentine going about Valentine okay. here and there, okay. so that as a girl child, mm -hmm. who are you? Mm -hmm. What's your confidence? What's your okay. self esteem okay. What are your targets? What are your goals? Okay. So you set to set goals for themselves, mm -hmm. not for Valentine. Not they for should Valentine. know the real meaning of mm -hmm. Valentine, mm -hmm. not to Valentine around boys and girls and all that. There we're also looking at family life, education, skills into them. Mm -hmm. Fellowship is part of the program, okay. so we're looking at giving them this. Basis, family life skill, so that as a girl child, they know how to say no, mm -hmm. and they know when to say yes. Mm -hmm. So these are the things. So okay. the coordinators in the schools, the coordinators are mainly counselors. Mm -hmm. okay. We have the coordinator, we have the assistant. Mm -hmm. So they are guiding them. Okay. They are leading them to be able to know. Okay. What to do. Like I said, I, lo I love you girls. I like I like this. Maybe you should also put into your program since it's a girls school social grace. Yeah. How ladies should be here. Yeah. 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 I should talk, I should exactly. They do that. They do that. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's good. Yeah. It's good. That's right. why yeah. they are ambassadors. Ambassadors, yeah. yes. I, I, as I said, I like yeah. them. Yeah. I have from Mr. Samuel Achibad. He says, Well done, NOA and Minister, for bringing students on this program. Uh, this will give sense of belonging and spur them, spur them off to be responsible. It will also serve as encouragement to other students. Thank you, Mr. Archibald. I have from Mr. Taylor Harry. He says, um, good innovation by UNICEF and NOA. 
I suggest you take this club down to the primary school level. I know they have plans for that. That was exactly <laughs> what the Commissioner okay. of Education mm -hmm. said. Okay. The Honorable Commissioner of Education is so passionate about, about it. this. When okay. we gave him presentation, he said, wow. Mm -hmm. Say, look, we should go back and bring a strategy mm -hmm. that will strategize and into the basic Yeah, because he said so that. He said this yeah. is informed by the fact that uh, no look. age group is immune. Yeah. from these life-threatening issues, yeah, okay? So we have from uh, Mr. Chiwe Ofara, who says, um, risk communication club in schools is an important tool to help cultivate the culture of voicing out against wrongdoing That's and other forms of criminality by the students in the school, exactly. the home and society at large. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Ofara. I have from Olowole, Mr. Olowole Modikaya. Uh, he says, your program is educating and informative. That's my Since boss. UNICEF, oh, that's your boss. Yeah, wow. That's my boss. Okay, so your program yeah. is educating and informative. <laughs> Since UNICEF sponsorship is coming to an end, it will appear to River State Government to continue sponsoring your program, exactly. especially the radio program. Exactly. And even the NRA River State Dialogue. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Olowole. Um, I have from a BAC, do you have risk communication club in other in higher institutions? Have you ever considered that? Take me to higher institutions, working on that. Okay. Yeah. I have from a Bele, I pray that the pioneers of this club will be pace setters. I believe you are pace setters. Yeah. 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 To cause some mishap associated with students. I have from Mr. Dapa. He says for the students, how do you use your experience at home? We're going to talk. That's the question. I just want to read most of this thing and then we'll go that. I have from Mr. Oluwale again. He says all schools in River State are eligible to form risk communication clubs in their respective schools without waiting for government because the Commissioner for Education has already channeled launched it. So just contact the UNICEF focal officer for Suben, Mr. Harriton John who is here on the platform. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about that. He's saying that you know, for all schools, schools that are watching right now, you don't need to wait for government to come to your school. Exactly, we're scaling up immediately. You know, from something, you yeah. know what it is. And then, you know, he's going to give you a contact. Exactly. Then you can contact them. And you can even you can even send a representative to the schools where these clubs already exist. Maybe in their meeting days. Yeah. Come and see how it is wrong. Come and see, you know, interact with them and, you know, get your own, uh, 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 you can form your own school and then you call upon them to launch it. Um, I know our time is up, but we really have to, you know, you know, this is, this is interesting. Exactly. That's, there's so much these students have to, to give yeah. out there. Yeah. You know, I have from Mr. Olowale again, he said, please we'll call on all mini River State people, River people and private sectors to support NOA in sustaining this program. This is for the benefit of our people in River State. Thank you, Mr. Anomaly. Yeah. We need the support of the private sector and all of us to keep this on air. Because I'm enjoying this. I wish we can yeah. stay there. Yeah. But yeah. the students have a lot you know, to talk yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. So I have from Mr. Charles Opara. He says, anyway, I really said, keep up the flag flying. This is very educative and informative yeah. to the students and to the public. At large. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Uh, if we are much as this, he says, well done, anyway, River State. Similar clause should be replicated in the higher institutions. Yes, he says that, 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 that they have that, yeah. you know, as a plan. Now, you know, someone asked the question How have you been able to, to take this to your books? How? Okay. One of the objectives mm -hmm. of Briscom is to take this message in and out of school. Okay. So we are, firstly, for this pandemic, for health-related weeks, we make sure that we wear our face mask and we urge our family members to do so, okay. whether we are going anywhere, in, even in buses and cabs. Okay. And even when we are in cabs, we ask the drivers why do they um, disobey the government um, Transportation rules. Okay. Well, how do they re how do they respond to you? Sometimes they are angry. Okay. Some of them <laughs> will be. No, Nigeria. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Some of them will, will see reason and say, okay, okay. let's see. Mm -hmm. And it's it's been going well. Okay. Okay. And your students are they able to also pass on the message to their own? Yes. Yeah, so far with their um 
um, feedbacks. We've been, they have told us that they have been doing great and their family members are also abiding by them. Yeah, managing and evaluation. Today, the feedback from the students, yes. how is it? In the terms of taking these messages to their homes, it's personal. Yeah. So I say, in the feedback and evaluation, we get positive um, reports. Okay. Okay. They've been able to spread the message and not spread the disease. Okay. They've been able to take precautionary measures out of the school to their families, to their peers, on how to curb COVID-19 and also on how to curb certain social vices that are harmful to the female gender and also to the male gender also in the community. Okay. So how have you been able to make this inclusive? Getting all students to buy into this. How have you been able to make that serious? Getting all students to buy into this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Our president has been doing a good job. Okay. We're going around classes to also inform them. Okay. Not just waiting for them to come to us. But okay. Also go around the classes mm -hmm. to talk to them. Okay. And we also see that they are responding. They are, they, our meetings, they keep on increasing and we are happy. Okay. Do you think you are making progress? Yes, we are making progress because in each and every meeting we have, our membership increases. Oh, really? Yes, okay. our membership does increase in every meeting we have. Okay. And also, the interactive session is getting positive and is getting increasing, and also everything is going well. Okay. So, like I said, we are making progress, right? Yes. What are your views? Views. Mm -hmm. share, share your experience. Okay, okay. It's been fun. Like I really enjoy the fact that I know that I'm going I'm making impact okay. in this society that mm -hmm. I'm not just sitting idle and complaining about things that I am stepping into the field and I'm playing and I'm okay. scoring goals. Oh, okay, wow. That, I, I, I need to clap to play. And what about you? Share your experience with us. How My experience experience so far has been very interesting because when you throw questions into the house during our meetings, okay. you get a lot of response, you get a lot of answers, you get a lot of contributions, and also you're also able to enlighten the students more. You're also able to teach them more on certain measures, precautionary measures on COVID-19 and other social vices in our community. Okay, okay. Now, we also want to ask a question, and I hope it will not be hijacked, and you said there is no way the students that are involved in these clubs we want to now hijack it, you know, and people because of the things they have been they have been taught, things they have been able to talk and discuss with each other. Now, do you think that this club and we all encompassing the topics what you talk about that you can social vices in our schools? Everything is a step by step routine. So very soon, we believe that in few months to come, handing down to the generations to come, okay. they will be able to stop it by coming it step by step. We'll be able to stop the social vices in our community. Okay, okay, okay. You are the program officer. Mm -hmm. So far, the students have been coming to us and telling us the people that have bullied them or wronged them, and we are actually taking steps, our coordinators have been helpful. They are, will report to them and they handled the situation rightly. Okay. And we are seeing that um, bully, uh, students are no longer bullied the way they are being bullied. Okay. And people are respecting themselves that there is great respect. Okay, I, I, I want this fire to go on. I like the fire in you. You know, I, I can you really invite you to one of them. You're always welcome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We are, to, we are, we, we are, to to membership is open. Okay. Not just for students alone. We have stakeholders. We're okay. building stakeholders. After we make our reports to the to the states, that's one of our way forward to be able to have stakeholders. Okay. Stakeholders, not just because you are in the government, whether you are in and out, okay. you're still a stakeholder. You're a member of this club. Okay. Because the media is a member. Mm -hmm. All the sectors is a collaborative, co-implementing, collaborating strategy. Okay. So we're looking at bringing membership. That is one of the uh, strategy for sustainability. Okay, yeah, because yeah. You, see, you see, the problem we see in our country is that it is high time we begin to look inward. Yeah. It is high time we begin to invest in our society. Mm -hmm. And the children are the future generation. Yeah, we yeah. keep saying it, mm -hmm. but we go outside to invest in Ghana. 
We go outside to invest in Canada, in America, in all over the world. What is happening in our system? Look at our educational system. We can't leave the children in silo. We must make sure that we invest. Look at these children. Look at what is inside of them. Yeah. If we build them up, if we work them up, yeah. we will have greatness in them. Mm -hmm. Nigerians are great all over the world. Oh, yeah. Nigerians are making impact all over the world. Is it when we travel out that we will make impact? Now, risk communication is not just like like we say, it's in and outside. Now, risk communication recently we identified. We identified a woman that is insane. She's mad, she has four children. And these children, they sleep outside. Risk communication, we have called the relevant bodies. I don't yeah. I, I don't want to break yeah. up. We have yeah. called the relevant key bodies. Because this is risk. Yeah. Communication. Yeah. communication. We need to yeah. communicate. Mm -hmm. We see something, we say something. Yeah. We see something, we speak something okay. to save life. Mm -hmm. So those children now, what are the future of those? Those four children. Yeah. Risk there. communication mm -hmm. has been able to, in the past few months, we've been trying to give money to one of the county to feed those children. Okay. Now we're looking at how to put those children in school. Mm -hmm. But that is not a total permanent remedy. The remedy is that the government has to take responsibility. Okay. So we need to look at look at look at the out of school is increasing every day. Mm -hmm. Every yeah, day, courtism like yeah, yeah. is increasing, mm -hmm. rape is increasing, yeah. abuse is increasing, drug abuse is increasing. We go to some schools. We, there are some things that we hear. You you begin to yeah. wonder. This is true that must we be own ourselves, ourselves, because you can send your children abroad, oh, you can yeah, send your children abroad. What about other children? They are Nigerian children, for God's sake. They are Nigerians. Yeah. It's not about your children, it's about the Nigerian yeah. child. Okay. If, you, if you make it well, tomorrow those children will come to your house. Mm -hmm. You can't walk on the street freely. Why? Mm -hmm. Because there are children. Now, what is the future of those children? Yeah. This is what we should be talking about. Mm -hmm. The social welfare, all the MTS should be responsible. Yeah. Let's look at what we can do to make Nigeria great. Mm -hmm. The children are great mm -hmm. because they don't have opportunity to go to private schools or to go to the best school in Ghana. Doesn't mean that they cannot meet their destiny. Yeah. We need to fight that. Yes, this is what we want. Because if you don't take care of that aspect exactly. and send your children out of Nigeria, your exactly. children will come back one day. And this one that you have abandoned. They will attack your children. Look at Jumbo Kuta, yeah. for example. Yeah. Look at the structure. Mm. That's supposed to be a very good high school. Jumbo mm -hmm. Kuta is... is yeah. I'm I'm there. There. Look at it. Yeah, I'm glad. So I'm we glad. need to move on. Yeah. Do you have any plans of taking it to the private schools? Are they, are they, no, can, no. can they get involved in this? They are all partners. So, so they, they can, they can when, bring their own clubs. When we started, when we started, you know, it, we, the, from the programs of implementation from our strategy. Okay. We have done a lot. Okay. We've done sensitization to private and public schools mm -hmm. owners. Mm -hmm. We invited them. They are all aware. All yeah. their stakeholders are aware. Okay. Even some private schools are, are included in this pilot okay. test. Okay. But in the okay. next few months, then we will send our report after this first phase, we are scaling up to the to the 23 LGA, both okay. private and public. Yeah, and even in our communities. Ex no, 23 LGA. Yeah, 23 yeah, LGA. Yeah. It's very, very important. Because it is more there. Mm, yes, the yes. worst is there. Yeah. And so, what we're looking at is that we're also building a structure, a platform, where a child can identify a risk anywhere. He can take his mother's phone, okay. and then he can die and then to the relevant is it the, the community reporting oh, platform yes yes yeah. exactly okay, okay. Yes, exactly yeah. unicef is building that, that to okay. the primary health based yeah. management board okay. we're building that so this is a strong it's a very big project okay it's okay. a very big okay. project and i and i thank unicef for this effort for support and i and i also thank all the mdas all the partners that are putting in efforts okay. and we're also a partner. Yes, thank you. We're thank you. We receive all the thanks from Henry River State. Okay, so one last word for your people. Tell us something. Yeah. Try to convince me to join your club. <laughs> Ruth Club is a club that has come to help. Okay. We, are, we do not discriminate okay. for male and female. Okay. So we employ everybody. Enjoy everybody. Yeah. We employ everybody to please help us. 
Okay. You take this message, not just only in the first state, you can take it out. Okay. You can take it to other states in Nigeria. Okay. okay. To help help this beast that is trying to destroy the Yeah, it's a beast, yeah. I like that word. And what about you? One last word for your people. We want everybody to be open because if the, the floor is open for everybody to join the club because this communication is this communication club is going is a club that wants to help the community to be a better place it's a club that wants to help nigeria as a whole and the world as a whole to be a better place to be a calm place for people to work for people to attend schools and so that social vices won't affect our day-to-day lives okay one last word for the people but you know what? Something just came to my mind. Yeah. You find that on the streets of Otakot, yeah. you find these young boys that should be in school. Exactly. And they are there working, trying to clean your window, your exactly. side window. Is there any plan for them? It's, Is there any plan for them? I give you one last word for them. It's one of the concepts. It's yeah. one of the reasons that the concept of risk on is actually covering as an umbrella. Okay. Because talking about risk on, like I say, one of our basic or specific objective yeah. that is piling on the wings mm-hmm. is out of school. Yeah. Out of school is an issue. Yeah. I have I have the baseline yeah. information yeah. Yeah. on out of school. Mm-hmm. If you go to park, sometimes I go to park. I you know that's that's my job. Okay. I've dedicated uh the walk to this job. Mm-hmm. Now you go to bank, you take you, you I, I I we we walk around and we see what is going on. Yeah. Children are being used for all sorts all of, of labor. Yeah. You go to some water signs. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I go there and you see children are being used for all sorts of even carrying jerry can of bow fire and all the rest. Mm-hmm. I have this like information. Mm-hmm. So indicator of out of school is actually in the increase. Mm-hmm. And this indicator starts from the school. Yeah. Most of them must have tested school mm-hmm. somehow yeah. and the school is they, tell, they want to look for, for money, money in there. Money. And mm-hmm. So risk on in school mm-hmm. will be able to talk to them. Yeah. Say no. Yeah. Formerly when we were small, you remember, I don't know, somehow if there is anybody that is out from school, the teacher is concerned. Yeah. And you want to know why this child is not coming to school. Mm-hmm. That is why risk comes is to say, why is this child out of school? Mm-hmm. You begin to find out. Yeah. If it has to do with finance and all the rest, we can know what to do. Yeah. If it has to do with giving the child orientation, yeah. what is yeah. the problem? Okay. Why is this child? Because yeah. the children, first we must be mindful about these children. Mm-hmm. We must look at the future. Yeah. Yeah. You agree with me that you're working for your children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So why won't Nigeria work for their children? Yeah. I wish we can go on yeah. and on and on on this. I want to thank you so much for being part of this program yeah. today. Viewers, I wish we had more time to talk about this. Then we'll be back again. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes by going to YouTube, search for NOA River State, and don't forget to subscribe. You'll be able to listen, watch our previous episodes, and in case you missed out on any part of this program today, you can also watch this on our YouTube channel. These students here have been wonderful. So our charge is to parents to support the children, your children, in this work. And I want to charge you that it needs your ambassadors. So take this message out there. Do not let that this fire go down. Cast that fire in you. Don't allow it go down. You are moving Nigeria to greatness. And we all are in the tax together. Moving this country to greatness. Yeah. So thank you viewers thank for streaming live with us today. Keep a date with us next week. Friday, 11 a.m. prompt. This program is a program of the National Orientation Agency, River State supported by UNICEF.